meet with Prophet Jesus. So how can they give the same message? How can give the same guidance? There's a prayer to only true God. And they are saying pray to the only true God, not me. Jesus never said pray to me. Yeah? And Jesus always said the Father is the only true God. Not he, not any other being. And the Prophet Muhammad Islam said as well the same things. La ilaha illallah. There's, there is no God except one who created me and you except Allah. Do you see the correlation between their, their message? So how can we conclude that they came from the same message? They came from the same God and they have the same message. Look at the Moses, what he said to, the, to, to his people. There's the prayer to the only true God, one true God. Look at the Abraham, what he said, pray to the only true God. Look at the, uh, uh, you know, Luth, what he said, pray to the only true God. What Adam said, pray to the only true God. They never worship any other God. They worship one true God. So when you're never going to worship three different gods. Yeah, yeah, they, they worship one true God. For example, if you look at the Bible, what Jesus said in John 17, 3, John 17, chapter 17, verse 3, Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. So if I say there is only Spanish girl, you are the only Spanish girl, what does it mean? There is no other Spanish boy or girl exists, right? Here, you are the only one who came from Spain. So when Jesus said the only true God is the Father, what does it mean? Meaning there is no other God except the Father. Do you understand? So, and the Jesus said the same thing, Prophet Muhammad said the same thing. We, we worship to the only one true God, not any other God. Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense There's uh, there is one God? That is, does it make sense to you? One God? You believe in one God, right? Does it make sense the Prophet, Jesus was a prophet, Moses was a prophet, Abraham was a prophet, and Prophet Muhammad was a prophet? Does it make sense? Yeah, I understand that. So, yeah. If you, if you think it does make sense that uh, you believe there is one God, one creator only, like the Jesus believe, only one God, not the Son, Father, or these, these or that, Jesus believe only one creator. And what he said, I'm going to your Father and my Father and your God and my God. So if someone says Jesus is God, how God has a God? Do you understand? Because... Yeah, there can be two at the same time. Yeah, yeah, do you understand? So God can't be... God can't, cannot have a God. Yeah, Jesus is saying I'm going to your God and my God. So Jesus is not the God. He didn't, he didn't mention that he is the God. He said the only true God is the Father in John 17, 3. Yeah, so does it make sense this, that Jesus is a prophet? Do you understand now? Yeah. And do you understand now why Prophet Muhammad is the prophet as well? Yeah, I get that. that, that you, I mean, that I, I get that the idea you're complaining is that both of them are prophets. Prophets, yeah. Yeah. So if it does make sense, this, there is only one God, you believe and you subscribe. And if you believe Prophet Jesus, Prophet Moses, Prophet Abraham, all of them are prophet, there's a belief of Muslim. Because the, even the Christianity doesn't believe that. The things you, you believe, it's not the belief of Christian, because Christians believe in three triune God, yeah? Which doesn't make sense with the Jesus as well. For example, if you want to... Triune God. The Virgin Mary? Yeah, I do believe Virgin Mary as well. In Islam, we marry, we, sorry, we believe Jesus came from Virgin Mary. We believe Jesus had a miracle. We believe all prophets prophet came with the miracle. We subscribe to, subscribe to this. And the amazing thing is this, Judaism doesn't accept Jesus nor the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. And Christianity... No, no. Prophet Moses. Do you understand? So they don't accept the Jesus or the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. But and they also consider that um, sorry, that Moses was God. No, they don't say Moses is God. They don't say. They say he's the prophet, but they don't subscribe to the Prophet Jesus or Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them. You understand? But only the Islam, which says La Rusuli. There is no differentiate between the Prophet. Moses was a prophet, Jesus was a prophet. You see the link between all the you know Jewish Christians. Islam is the only religion which makes link between between all of the prophet, amongst the prophet. Yeah? Does it make sense to you that the God is one and Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final messenger? So if it does make sense this God is one and Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger, you can become Muslim. Yeah, well I think that there are lots of many things like but 
I understand. I mean that. Yeah. I will read more about it because I'm yeah. curious about the subject. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So what you can do, if you believe that, if you already believe, you subscribe this, that there is one God, right? I still have my doubts. I mean, I'm that's not 100%. Fine. I've been baptized yeah, by Do you myself, have any question on this? Like, why, for example, I would like to ask you why you think, I mean, why is religion important for you in your daily life? Okay. I mean, why do you That's a good question. That's a good question. For example, as human beings, we have a purpose of our life, right? For example, if I live my life, if I, you know, going to work, coming to the work, just enjoying, it's not the purpose of my life. As Muslim and as a human being, we have the bigger purpose. For example, if you make a phone, you will make this phone for a purpose. If not, you make a what? If you make for example, if you make a phone, phone, cell phone yeah. or computer, you will make it for a purpose. You will not make it for just for fun. Yeah, you will make it for a purpose. And God sent us, God gives us life. Who gives us life? God, the creator. So who, the, he sent us for a purpose. Do you, sorry, sorry, I started for this, you. Sure. Do you believe in evolution? The belief, evolution is a theory. Do you understand? Yeah. So evolution is a theory. So believing in a theory is not the mandatory. For example, okay. I do understand that what, how evolution works. I'm a student of science, I st study medical science, and I understand how evolution works. I know this, I know the evolution. I know the evolution, I know about the Big Bang. You understand this? But what we believe, we believe we, we created, we were created by the God. The Creator created us, do you understand? And the God sent us for a reason. The reason is we need to worship Him. We need to be gratitude for Him. We, sh we need to show us our gratitude to the God. Because, How does that impact your daily life? Yeah, that's a good point. So when you have the purpose, your life will be in a routine, in a structure. For example, if you don't have the purpose, for example, you can you can do whatever you want. But if you have the purpose, if you if you have nine to five job, you will set the alarm that okay, I, I need to go. Your alarm will be eight p eight a.m. So you need to go at nine nine a.m. to the office, right? Then it will come. So you have a structural life. It's not something okay. I don't want to. I don't want to go there. Go today because I'm quite lazy or this or that. But you have to go because you have a purpose. You need to go to the office. Likewise, our life has a bigger purpose. We here in this dunya, in this world, for a certain period. Think about it. What hundred years ago, where we were. Hundred years later, where we will be. We will not be in the in, in this dunya, right? We have to die. So what will happen after the death? We have a bigger purpose that we believe hereafter as well. That we our life will not end here. Just our life is just a test. We have to pass the test. And like the exam, if you go to the exam without any preparation, so you will fail the exam, right? And we believe God sent them, sent us to worship Him. And worship is not need for the God. It's for us. Like we want to get the mercy from the Creator because we need to show the gratitude to the Creator. We need to be grateful to the Creator who created you and me. If you are not grateful to your parents, it will be, you know, they, they will be so angry. If you are, for example, if you say, okay, I don't have any parents, does it make sense? No, you have to be grateful to them. You have to respect them because they are your parents. What about who created your parents too? Your God created you, my God, your God and my God, our God created us. So you have to be grateful to the God. That's the reason. When, when you be grateful to the God, when you know the purpose of your life, that you have to meet the Creator once you die, so you will be in a structural way, and this structure will go to for the bigger, biggest success. But because during after, your time on Earth, do you think you can live the same way without believing in God? I mean, during the time you're, you're living on Earth, you can live the same life? No, like because... You have the same values? No, for example... No, not really. Because of what? Because if I if I want to commit a sin, for example, if I want to you know kill someone, my religion will say no, you cannot kill someone because you have to be God will judge you according to your action. So then I have to stop in the certain point. Even if I have you know if I have some bad things in my mind, it will stop me. Because don't you believe that even if you don't have a religion, not any, not Islam, not Christian, I mean, I mean, no religion at all. You, ha you can have then, then you don't have yeah I don't understand but in that time you don't have the standard because you don't have sorry you don't have you will not have any standard for example if you think your standard is good right now maybe two years later you can change your mind and you can, you can do you understand and if you have the ultimate standard that's the ultimate standard from the God so how do you understand the morality we understand 
the morality who created us, he understands what the morality is. He understands the best. For example, if you make a phone or the laptop, who will be the best person to talk about this? You. Because if you make a phone or a laptop or any device, who will be the best person to speak about it? You. Because you are the creator. Yeah, who made it. So God created us and he knows what's best for us and what's evil for us. What's good for us, what's bad for us. Do you understand? So if we live, if we, if we you know, spend our life according to the structure from the God, the God gave the structure in the Quran. You mean that you're going to know how to live a better life? If exactly, you yeah. If you, if you follow the rules from the God, because He's our creator and He knows better how to, if you, if you live the life this way, you will go to the paradise, you will, you will have the better, better outcome. If you if you go in a bad way, you'll go in a bad way. Because in the Quran, Quran says, Aliyama Akmal Tulakum Dina kum wa atmam tu alaikum niamati wa radu tulakum islam dina. Meaning Quran says in Arabic, yeah. Quran says Allah fulfilled the deen. Allah gave the all the rahma, all the baraka. Baraka meaning the mercy to the mankind. So Allah gives the full guidance to the Quran how to lead your life. You see? So Quran 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 says don't commit adultery. So if you have the adultery in your society, you will have problem in your family, in your, you, you will have problem between the husband and wife, because it will break the society. Yeah? Look how Islam make the construction. Islam says you can't take the bribe. So when people take the bribe, they become dishonest, right? And it will cause a bigger problem in the society, even in, in a country. And right? isn't that between the, like the values of Islam? I'm not talking about like the representation of God and, the, and how the abstract conception is. But regarding the values, don't you think it's very similar to Christianity? Not really, because for example, if anyone rapes someone, or if anyone steals something, there is no, no rules in the Christianity what you need to do according to the Bible. But it's a sin too. I mean, it's, also it's, it's a, sin. a sin. But, but sin, there is a hudud as well. In the Islam, there is a certain punishment as well. If you do something, there is a certain punishment as well. For example, what's the financial solution? In the, There is no financial solution according to the Bible. In Christianity, what, what's the modern finance? How modern finance works? How can you, for running a country, you need the finance, you need the judiciary system, you need all the system, right? So if you if you look into the whole Bible, it doesn't talk anything about the financial system. How do you run the economy? But in the Quran, you will find you will find it talks about the economy. So because they consider it to be separate. I mean, they consider I think religion to be separate from like other aspects of life. No. So that's the reason. That's the difference between the Islam and the other religion. Other religion will talk about the, some spirituality, some act in spiritual act. But Islam is not like this. If Islam talks only the spiritual things, then the verse will be maybe, you know, there is a 114 chapter in the Quran, in this Quran, maybe, you know, 50 chapter is okay. 50 or uh, 40 chapter will be okay if it talks only the spirituality, only the worship. Islam doesn't talk only the worship. Islam talks how to lead your life, how to run the society, how to run your family, how to be a good wife, how to be a good husband, how to be a good teacher, how to be a good son, how to be a good student. Islam teaches every aspect of life when you find the whole solution in the Islam and it talks about the all the steps what a man or women or a human being should take to get a better life and Islam says if you follow the in the Quran if you if you follow the Quran you'll get a better life and because this Quran is from the God and if God says something to you and God instructs you to follow for example is, uh, do you have to follow like everything that it says to the letter? I mean, do you take personally? Do you take what you read? In the we we, the we try our best. For example, it's not that this country or the countries is not run by Islamic law. So we can't follow everything. For example, in judiciary system, Islamic law is not allowed in this country. So I can't follow this. So I, I we need to try our best as much as we can in our personal level. For example, doing a prayer, don't take the bribe, don't do co commit adultery. We can do this as well. Yes, you understand? So it's our within within our within our capacity. You know your capacity. Exactly. Within our capacity. And if the ruler have the capacity to run the country within the Quran and Sunnah, that's Quran said. You need to run the country, run the society, run the you know, run your family within the you know structure of the Quran. For example, Quran Quran doesn't allow to take the drug. So you can see that how drug breaks our society. Yeah, 
how drug have the bad impact. Drug is not allowed by, I mean, by political laws either in a country. They, I mean, not just by exactly. I understand. I understand. But why I'm saying Islam completely stopped it. For example, you can sell the drug. You can even produce the drug. In Islam, you can't do this because drug is harmful for the human being. And in Islam, you can't do the adultery. For example, if you got married and your husband do the adultery, it will be bad for you, bad for your family, bad for the society. Islam stops it. Islam doesn't allow to take the bribe. Islam stops it. In, in financial system, Islam says if you have a certain amount of money, you need to give, give for the poor people. And he, so you think that, that, that Islam is going to like force you to do that and while well, other laws that are enforced now in culture in occidental societies will not force you to do that, they just give you the option to do that. Or what, because I mean they're always going to tell you to donate money. I mean in any society, Donation any yeah, culture, so donation money, the donation is completely different than the compulsory thing. For example, if I am a Muslim and I have a certain amount of money, yeah, then I need to pay the zakah. Zakah means that I need to pay the money, additional money I do have to the poor people. What's the reason for this? Because Islam believes in equality to the older people. Islam treat the older people out of race, out of, you know, Islam doesn't say, okay, poor is, is lower people. Islam doesn't say this. Even many, you will find billionaire or millionaire is uh, in prayer in the, the next line of a, of a poor people because he goes later. So Islam doesn't allow that, okay, you are a rich person, so you have the greater value. No, Islam doesn't say this. Islam takes, Islam sees all the people as equal. Yeah, and that additional money that Zakah will give to the poor people because they can get a better life. Yeah, they can they can develop their lives with this. Zakah. Yeah, that's fine. So does it make sense to you? That's the Allah. Yeah, good. Yeah. So and I will read more about Islam that's fine. Yeah. Like a curiosity to learn yeah, about that's fine. My so, cousin is actually reading the Quran. So really? She can lend it to me. So uh, as we discussed, does it make sense? There is one creator. There is I one God. That's fine. So why I'm saying uh, I'm giving the Quran as gift, and there is two other, two or three other literature I'm just giving to you. And it, bro, can you just give some? Just small idea, small, you will get the, some information about what Islam says about the women, what Islam says about, you know, the how to lead your life, what Islam says about your, your hereafter, what Islam says about this life. So Islam is the complete guidance for the human being, yeah? So that's what I'm try, I tried to say. And I think you understand what we discussed, and you, uh, you can look into it, you can look into the Quran, and as you believe one God, as you subscribe, that Prophet Muhammad Islam is the last and the final messenger. Inshallah, you can become Muslim anytime. Just take the shahada, you can become Muslim. Yeah. So take the time as you are as you are trying to take time. So take time. But what I'm saying, when you get the truth, accept it. Yeah. As an intellectual person, you should accept the truth when you get the truth. If I say five plus five equal to eight, and this uncle say five plus five equal to ten, you will accept him because he is the right. You will, will not accept me because I am saying five plus five equal to eight. So, as an intellectual person, what you need to do, read the Quran, and the things we discuss, it does make sense to you. Said, and inshallah, we pray that all other things will make sense to you. And once you see that Islam does make sense to you, don't just put it away. Take the Take the Islam, take the, you know, the pure Islam, and you will see... Can I ask you one sure. last question? Just sorry, because I... I have, sure, sure. Uh, don't, do you think that if you were born, like, in another society, imagine you were born in another culture, and yeah. because at the end, if you think about it, when you're born in Europe, well, certainly you turn to be Christian. You're born in the Middle East, you turn to be Muslim. Do you think that if you were born somewhere else, you would have converted that's, to Islam? That, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. Because there is a verse in the Quran and the hadith as well there's every single person born with the fitra what is the fitra fitra means the natural belief what's the natural belief natural belief is that there is one God you understand? every child born with their natural belief and it's scientifically proved as well what's the belief that there is one God yes and at a certain point, for example, when you were, when you small kids, you don't have any idea about what Islam is, what Muslim is, what uh, what Quran is. But when you are adult, for example, right now you are an adult person, so you can check whether it does make sense to you or not. 
So when you see the Quran, when you get the da'wah, when you get the message of Islam, you should look into it. And once you look into it and it makes sense, then you should accept it. So it's not that's forcing to you. Islam doesn't allow to force anyone to accept the Islam. And I do understand in a society when you when you raised in a society, everyone is Christian. Obviously, you will become Christian by your parents, not by yourself, because parents will take you in the church. But when you become when the adult, you're Muslim too, right? I mean, when you're Muslim, your parents will also. I don't know if you're exactly. I don't understand. But for myself, I was kind of agnostic. I was agnostic. I had. Uh, I born in Muslim family. Until what age? Uh, in 16, 17, 17, 18, in the in the time. I don't know if they baptize you. No, we don't. We don't believe the baptized by the church, baptized by the by the these. When we commit any sin, uh, sorry, thank you. When you commit any sin, when I commit any sin, we can directly pray to the God. That's yeah, oh God, forgive us. That's it. We don't need to go to the church to forgiveness. We don't need to go to anyone to forgiveness. We have direct connection to the God. Do you understand? Yeah. And you don't have to. I mean, for example, in your case, you were agnostic, and suddenly you decide to be a Muslim. It's no, 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 no. I, I, I read the Bible. I read the Gita. I look into the other religion, and I look into the Islam as well. Then Islam makes sense, most sense for me. For example, as I said, that today's Christianity is saying Jesus is God, but Jesus never claimed to be God. Do you understand? Today's Christianity is saying the Holy Spirit is God, but we don't find any Trinity. We don't find the, even the Trinity word in the whole Bible. Do you understand? So how can I subscribe to to something which is not propagated by their own books? How can I subscribe? And in, uh, in in why in, did you get interest? I mean, why were you interested in looking at other? Because I was I was trying to find the truth. What's the ultimate truth is? Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, do you understand it? So then I choose the Quran. When you were still in, I mean, when you were still in Bangladesh, or when you were, I mean, have you looked at the Quran? No, no, no. When I was in Bangladesh, in that time, I looked into it. I looked into it before coming to the UK. Yeah, before coming to the UK as well. So the thing is, the hidayah, the you know, the right path, the guidance to the hands of Allah, and we can give just the message, and Allah gives you the sound reasoning and. If as an intellectual being, you should ask yourself that if it does make sense to you, why I'm not accepting? Okay. Do you understand my point? Yeah, so when it does, when Bible is doesn't making sense, how can I accept the Bible? When Bible says the Genesis chapter 19, this is the one prophet, Lut alayhi salam. Lut is the prophet of Christian and Muslim. He made the made the you know physical relationship with his own daughter. Can I believe that? Like a prophet of God making physical relationship with his own daughter. I don't subscribe to this God. I don't subscribe to this religion. But in Islam, Alhamdulillah, we're very pure and you can test the Quran whether it come from, comes from God or not. For example, Bible, the Jesus spoke in Aramaic. His disciples spoke in Aramaic. But we don't find any Bible in Aramaic. The earliest Bible we find in Greek. You see? So no even, Bible in Arabic? No. No, the Bible, the Jesus was speaking in Aramaic. He, his language was Aramaic, and his disciples Arabic. Aramaic, 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 a language, semantic language. So Jesus was spoken in Aramaic. Aramaic. Yeah, you can write in the into the in Google. You will find it. So Jesus spoke in Aramaic. The his 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 speech. Uh, sorry, speech was was in Aramaic. And he was spreading the deen in Aramaic, yeah. And the uh, Injil came in Ar in Aramaic, yeah. But in today's, even the Christian, earliest Christian, we don't find any Aramaic language. Even the original language has been has been corrupted. You understand? But we don't have this issue with the Quran. Prophet Muhammad spoke in Arabic. The disciple was spoke in Aramaic. Quran came to the Prophet from from the God in Arabic. We found it in Arabic. in Arabic. Book is in Arabic. Still, we do have in Arabic. How do you write that? A I H R. Arabic. A R A B I C. Arabic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Arabic for the Quran. Yeah, for the Bible, for the Jesus, he spoke in Arabic. A R I A M O A I C. Arabic. So you, you need to you can look into it. Yeah. So the Quran is preserved. Yeah, that's fine. So you can take the Quran, look into it, and. Did you do your own research? But if you don't have a lot, don't worry because my yeah, no, 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 I do have lots. I do have lots. Don't worry about this. You can take the Quran, inshallah. And read it. Alhamdulillah, you subscribe in one God, you subscribe in True Prophet. You just need to do the next step, which is Shahada. If you, if you say in Arabic that I believe in one God and the Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger, you can become Muslim. That's very simple. Yeah? All right? All right, no problem. Take care. Thanks. It's, it's nice to speak.
Do you mind if I speak to you? Uh, yeah, I'm really late. She needs to go. Okay, actually, you have to have a rehearsal, you know, of this. There is the one God who will be worshipped, and then Muhammad is, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger. If you have a rehearsal, normally you go on a stage, have a rehearsal. If you have a rehearsal today, then, you, you know, whenever you, you become a Muslim, you, you can take, you, you, you can take, you know, on your own, what, you can do that yourself. What he's, what he's saying, what he's saying, that's the, the recitation, the shahada is just two sentences. There's one sentence in two parts. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. La ilaha illallah meaning I do believe there, there is no God except Allah, one creator we discussed. And Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger, as we believe. So if anyone recite it in Arabic with, from his or her heart, he can become Muslim. So as you are believing, okay, but right now I'm yeah, have yeah, yeah. So I just said it, yeah. Whenever you take time, get take time now. Whenever you you, you get the chance, read the Quran, look into it, research by your own self, and, and inshallah take the shahada. Then, Thank you very yeah, no problem. Much. Take care. Yeah, nice to speak. Bye. Take care, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Say, have a rehearsal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you never know when you are on your own somewhere. Yeah, just to just to dying, wrap up. you know, and you are dying, and you say, oh, I want to make this hard. Yeah, yeah, Why not? Yeah, oh, this is what came to my mind. Yeah, we gave, we gave. Yeah, yeah you do yeah. that. Yeah. Two things, you know, which is yeah, normal inshallah, people. Inshallah. She's, a, she's a simple girl. Yeah, woman, just know, to rehearsal. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, yeah. salatu wassalam ala rasulullah. Uh, we have a discussion with this uh, Spanish sister about uh, Islam and the christianity and we we spoke about wh why islam makes sense and what we believe in tawhid and risala and alhamdulillah we explained her she agreed with most of the point agreed with almost all the point but she wants to take some time to take this uh, take the shahada inshallah we asked allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make her make it easy for her we gave the quran and some of the literature uh, for her to look into it we asked allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy and accept her uh, as uh, Muslim. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum.